you don't have a smart home until you have a smart lock. We all know this. So today, we've got this Zigbee lock from Quickset. We're gonna show you how to install it, and then we're gonna set it up and set all your lock codes using your Hubitat Elevator. Hey, this is Pete, the Hubitat Hub Whisperer, here to help you get the most of your automated home. So today we're taking a look at the Quickset Home Connect 916 Smart Lock. This is the Zigbee version of that lock. There is a Z-Wave version of this lock as well. I've heard that it goes through batteries a little bit quicker, but if you're a Z-Wave fan, it could be something for you to check out. So here's what's in the box. Lots of your typical lock stuff here. It does come with some free batteries, which I guess is a nice feature. Here's your keypad right here. Obviously, it will light up when it has batteries. It does include a key lock right here, which can be set to your keys. But here's the box. It goes on the inside. Um, batteries go right in here. So let's go get this installed. So we're replacing this old quick set lock with the new 916 lock. It says all you need to do that is a hammer and a screwdriver and a ruler and a block of wood. It doesn't say anything about eight more trips to Home Depot. So if that's true, it's gonna be a vast improvement over most of my home improvement projects. So let's get started. If you are replacing a lock for the first time, it is a relatively straightforward project. Unless it is a brand new door, you shouldn't have to drill any holes. It's just a matter of lining some things up and putting in some screws. You may not have the blazing speed that I'm demonstrating here, but it shouldn't take you more than 20-30 minutes for the whole process. Once the lock is in the door, we can install the batteries and add the device to our Hubitat system. To do that, we put the lock in pairing mode by pressing this button four times. Then we put our hub in pairing mode using my phone and voila, our device is connected. Now let's go into our hub and show you how to get your lock code set up. We're going to use the app called Lock Code Manager. We'll just load it up here now we're going to add a new user. We'll name the user and give him a numeric code right here, something he should be able to remember. Now we'll select the lock. If you have multiple locks, you can select more than one, but the new front lock is all we have right now, so we'll select that. Now you'll see this user option popped up. For Honest Abe, we want this code to always be enabled. But in a second, I'll show you how to add a temporary code. But let's add this lock code right now. Looks like it was a success. We can test it and yep, Abe Lincoln now has access to our home. While this quick set lock is not whisper quiet, it's not obnoxiously loud. For comparison, here's a blender chopping up ice. And now here's my son screaming at the top of his lungs. All right, I'll spare you that one. Just trust me, he's loud and this lock ain't so bad. Now let's show you how to set up a temporary code. Say you go on vacation and you have a neighbor who is going to stop by your home a few times a day to take care of your dog. You can set up a code that is only active on the days you're gone. So again, we're gonna add a user and create his code. This time we're gonna go into user options and we're going to enable and disable the code on certain dates. We set the dates we're gone and once we save the code, the code will only be active on the date we select. Pretty slick. This quick set lock can have up to 30 unique codes. So just repeat this procedure to get all the codes put into your system. Now I'm gonna give you a little bonus automation here. If you have someone watching your house and you want to know when they're coming and going, you can set up some easy notifications on your phone using the notifications app. I demonstrated this app in our last video and it's the same basic idea. You go into the notifications app, name your notification, you select a device and we're gonna select lock code. We select the sketchy neighbor kid code and we want a text notification. Again, to use text notifications, you need the Hubitat mobile app and you need to allow it to run in the background. For this notification, we're gonna add these little tags to add some information to the message. And once we save it, we'll get a notification like this on our phone when the neighbor uses his code. This is just the beginning of what you can do with a smart lock in your Hubitat system. In an upcoming video, we'll demonstrate using the presence sensor in your mobile app to automatically lock the door when you leave the house. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on that. Until next time, thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.